Um, let's see, this video, what started out, I had a problem with this uh, clutch cover on this 2100. It had a very slight crack right up in here, so I drilled about a real tiny drill bit through there with oh, seven or eight holes, and, uh, and I used some JB Weld and fixed it, but there were some really bad patches on it, and the paint was peeling on it, so I started to refinish it. So I was just going to put it back on there. Anyway, one thing led to another. So I did the muffler cover. I got that. So I ended up taking it all apart almost. So I'll uh, I'll do what I did on the others. Is I strip them down by hand. And then I'll use, uh, you can see those scratches in there. I'll use some primer filler. Some etching primer and then primer filler on that. And so I'm coming along. It won't be too bad. Uh, well, worst part about it was, well, not the worst, but it could have been a lot worse. Uh, when I took this clutch off, this was barely hanging on here, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's no threads left in that. Fortunately, uh, the threads off the nut were destroyed. Got them sitting right here. There's a few of them. And they didn't booger up the threads on that, thank thank gosh. So, when someone did a restoration on this years ago, they spray painted the oil pump and the uh, on-off switch, among other things. So, oh, I'm going to probably do a 95% restoration paint and decals on it and strip it. I always... I've been stripping it by hand. I have a soda blaster, but we'll, I'll try it on a part here before too long. But uh, like I said, this is the a 2100 Super. It has the 7 8 inch clutch, which is the big clutch. And you can tell that by the, the clutch cover there. Is, it sticks out a lot further. And uh, I've got the uh, muffler soaking down there and some easy off. And I've got my parts bagged up. And... Uh, Hopefully there won't be any dirt on it. This 2100 is going to get this 43-inch home light bar I've restored. And uh, so that'll be a good for this 2100. Uh, and the next on my list to come out here, it's, it's, it's been 100, and 100 degrees, 103, 104, 102 for 8 or 10 days. So my clothes get completely soaked through when I'm working outside in the yard and the garden. And then... When I come in, I just throw everything off except my boxers and my house shoes and work out here in the garage uh, uh, a la carte. <laughs> the, I bought a set of decals for this. This is a nice XL800. It runs real good. And uh, that was going to be my next restoration before I started on this little touch-up on the 2100, Super 2100. Uh, so... I'm kind of excited. I'll have to order decals, but kind of excited to do this one and get that big bar on it. And that'll have me, that'll have me a 2000, a 2100, 1130G, and a 750 saw all restored. And then I've got a, uh, the, for the big saws, plus the 550 here and the 450 here, which are mm, almost restored, and the 410. So, yeah. It's just like going down a rabbit hole.